Hey, welcome to this Windows 10 channel. Sorry for the quality of the video, but I was unable to have a screen recorder work correctly. So I am uh, doing it with um, a, a camera. So um, this is a quick look at something new that happened this weekend. Actually on Christmas Day, an anonymous user uploaded a image file of a leaked build of Windows 10. As you see at the bottom right, evaluation copy in the 14997. It says one core base. That means it's internal at Microsoft. So it's kind of cool. And uh, for those that want to know where to get it, don't. I'm not going to answer any questions like that. And second of all, you should not because first of all, this is probably buggy. There's a reason why they didn't release it. And you'll probably not be able to upgrade to the next builds with this. So you'll have to install from scratch if you install this and this thing doesn't activate. So, you know, all of these reasons mean it's not worth it to install this. That's why I'm here. I do it so that you can see what's new in here. So first of all, what was new in this build, and that's pretty cool, is the fact that there's a new setup screen. So when you actually start your setup, uh, Cortana actually asks you to, uh, you know, will actually talk you through the setup, which is pretty cool. And also, you have voice commands available, so when you actually install it, at first, she will tell you, for example, oh, Microsoft uh, wants you to use Express Settings, uh, do you want to do this? And if you say yes, she will actually continue to set up with Express Settings, for example. So it's kind of a cool way of installing Windows. Apart from that, there's an interesting little icon here, a little coffee icon on the upper right corner which is probably something really just for uh, you know the Microsoft team itself. I don't think this is going to show up in our uh, insider previews when we get it. The settings menu has a new setting icon called apps. When you click here, you now have uh, all of these things available in this setting. All the you know apps and programs that you installed are going to be available here and all the default app stuff. Uh, notice that on the right side there's also a need a hand related settings and so on. Uh, kind of interesting that wasn't there before. That's also something to add to help you when you actually do something. In the system folder, if you go to display, new little thing called blue light. Lower blue light automatically. You've got blue light settings here. Temperature of the light at night. And you can even schedule blue light. For those that wonder what blue light is, is that um, basically there's um, research that says that our LED screens create or emit a lot of bluish light and that our brain thinks it's daytime. So if you use your computer or watch a screen, uh, a TV screen at night, you might actually have difficulty going to sleep because of that. So this option is now added and it has even its little tile here in its little button here in the action center. So uh, basically, blue light button right here that you can activate on or off. So it does change slightly. I've noticed that it kind of creates a flash. It kind of changes slightly the, the screen itself. So that's uh, an interesting little thing. You also have available in here uh, the, the, the teams that, um, for example, in um, Creators Update, you'll be able to buy package, team packages that will uh, gives you some you know pictures and uh, desktop colors of all kinds. Um, they are available in here, but because this is not activated, what's happening is that it uh, doesn't want to set it up. It does set it up, I can see it, but when I restart, it actually removes itself. So this is because of activation that's not there. I can't change the settings, but that's uh, something coming up. In 1496, we, we had it, but the thing is, we had to install it manually. And here, uh, it installed automatically, which is different. So that's getting fixed. Interesting feature with Microsoft Edge. So if you look at Edge, you have new icons here on the upper left corner. So let's uh, check it out. Let's open new tabs. I'm going to go to, uh, for example, spaceweather.com and uh, open this tab. Maybe I can open another tab with um, the weather network and so on. And so each tab is here. Let's say I wanna start a new uh, Microsoft Edge browsing session. I don't wanna have the tabs open here. 
I can go here on the left side and there's this new icon where I can set tabs aside. When I click here, all the tabs are set aside. And now I can actually, you know, go on whatever web page or do whatever I want with the different, um, you know, settings. And then I click here. And here we go. My tabs are still here. I can click, get the tabs open again. So you see it here. It's pretty cool. And uh, another option that is available is the fact that you can also have the preview of the tabs here on the top. You will have this little arrow on the right side. You can click. Here we go. Little preview of all the tabs that are open. You can click on the preview and go directly to that page and you can close a preview of these tabs. There's a share option that is uh, adding new and new options all the time to share your options. So OneNote to mail, uh, Cortana reminders, Windows Defender maybe to verify something. It doesn't work well right now, but you know, that's why we have these builds. So, uh, you know, a lot of cool little options here available in our Insider uh, Preview. And one last thing that a lot of people are waiting for. When I go to the Start menu, look at this. I've got tiles that have little tiles inside them. This is, of course, brand new. You can now create folders. And these folders will, of course, contain the different apps. So you see here I'm taking them out and creating the icons or the uh, tiles back and so on. But what about if I want to recreate a folder? You just take a tile, move it over another tile and automatically it becomes a folder. So this is cool because you can create groups, you know, like uh, gaming, uh, internet, productivity, uh, whatever, to uh, the start screen. And instead of having like 200 tiles, you'll have tiles that contain uh, other you know, tiles from your different categories of apps in programs that you want to use. So this is very useful. A lot of people have been asking for that. All you have to do, slide one tile over the other and it works. So that's pretty much what we have brand new right now on this Insider Preview. So uh, this is, of course, once again, a leak build. So don't, um, you know, uh, download this. It's not a good idea and uh, hope you enjoyed this quick look at the build of Windows 10 14997. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let us know. Hope you enjoy our videos.